Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L Mobile Hygiene. So I have owned my practice now since November, oh goodness, November 2018 I want to say. Wow, time goes by so fast. November 2018 and it has been the best thing ever. Let me talk to you guys about some things that I've done that has made my life as a mobile dental hygienist even easier and things that I'm starting to do or even thinking about. So I first started my business as a mobile dental hygienist just because I really wanted to start my own business. I do have a video all about that. So have a look at that um, and you will hear why I started, how I started, all of that. But I did it mobile mainly because it was a lot less expensive than opening up my own physical location. Plus, I just didn't want all of that responsibility. I didn't want to have to spend all of that money. My main, I guess, mission was to help people and to make it a lot more accessible for those people who needed dental hygiene care but just simply couldn't have it or were too anxious to go, didn't have the money, whatever. So that's why I did it. So things that I've changed in my practice since I first opened that have made things so much easier for me. Number one is getting a dental software. Yes, you pay the price for it, but it has saved me hours of, you know, printing out claim forms, writing down all of the codes, having to look back to see what I sent for this patient, this patient, this patient this patient having to look back saying, okay, I, I haven't heard from the insurance company yet from this patient. What did I build them again? It's just so much easier having everything in the same area on a dental software. So you can just look up a patient by name and everything's right there. It's the most amazing thing ever. Not to mention it's just easier and it's so much quicker and more convenient. So it's the best decision ever, trust me. If you're thinking about, do I do everything on paper? Do I get a dental software? Definitely do that, dental software all the way. Another thing that I've done is I have uploaded medical history forms. Now the COVID pre, um, pre, bleh, pre screening forms um, and the consent forms online. So patients, so I give the patients their links to fill everything out. They click OK, or sorry, I think it's click submit at the end. It gets sent to me, done and done. So I don't have to chase patients and say, please don't forget the medical history form. Please don't forget this. Plus, I tell patients that I will not book the appointment until they have those filled out. Because what I was doing was I would book the, the appointment and then like the morning before I go to see them, I'll go, oh shoot, they haven't filled out the medical history. They haven't filled out the consent or the COVID pre-screening. But if they're at work, they might not get my message. And then I show up, they have to take time to fill that out. It's just a big hassle. So have them do that before you show up. Plus, if there's any medical concerns, you can make the phone calls, right? You don't have to be at their house and saying, oh, you didn't tell me you had a heart attack two months ago. Well, I can't see you. Or, hmm, this is a very extensive medical history. When you told me that you were on no medications, let me confirm with your doctor. You know, so it's, so it's just nice to do all of that before you're actually there. So that has really, really helped me, you guys. Another thing is, I accept assignment. So yes, patients do not pay me upfront. I do this because I get a lot more patients this way. And my whole mission was to make dental hygiene care more accessible. Part of that is the money. Patients might not have $200 to just say, here you go. Yes, insurance will pay them probably a week later or even a day later, but they just might not have that money. So the best thing I have done, probably even, even better than getting the dental software was accepting assignments. I have more patients. They are so happy. They are so thankful that I'm not asking them for that money right away. Plus, it kind of allows me to, um, to do more of what I need to do. I do not have to say as much of, hmm, you have generalized cold sensitivity. I would like to put on a desensitizer for you. This will make a big difference, but I don't know if it's covered. They would usually say, well, can you check first? Because I can't afford anything else, but that could get them out of pain. So this way I just simply do it and I go from there, okay? They are so happy to have that. Um, so yes, you guys, I accept assignment. It's the best thing ever. 
Um, what else do I do? Um, I might have talked about this before, but now I used to have a big um, luggage container for all of my mobile stuff. Yes, it fit everything in there, but I would be like, like bringing in this huge luggage. Some patients have steps that I have to go up. So yes, my luggage is on wheels, but it was still really, really heavy. So what I've done that has changed things is I put everything in like three separate 31 bags, but like three separate, like larger bags, basically. And that just helps me so that, let's say I might not need everything. Let's say I'm seeing a two-year-old as an example. I don't need my whole like water, suction, all of that. So the one um, bag that I have, has everything that I would need, like for the water, the air, the suction, it has the, the tub in there, my piezo, the extra like watering containers. So if I'm seeing a two-year-old, I don't need to bring that big container. Whereas before, like everything would just be in the one container, so I would just bring everything. Now I plan things ahead of time, so I don't have to bring in as much stuff. Plus a two-year-old, another thing, you guys, my portable um, chair that I have for my patients, they might not want to sit in that chair. They might be more comfortable sitting on the couch or sitting somewhere where they're more comfortable. So then that saves me a trip from bringing in the whole thing. So get organized before you see the patients. That might be common sense to you, but it wasn't to me, um, at least not initially. What else do I do, you guys? Um, those are the main ones that I can think about right now. So I do hope that helps just a couple things, but it really makes a big difference. Let me know if you guys have any questions about any of that, and I will see you guys in the next one.